Hello and welcome to Tom Wright Art 2020. We have a brand new guest presenter, Tibor Febland. Uh, we are at Palatine Library to interview Art and Nightingale about a new exhibition. Let's go inside and have a look, Tibor. See you later. Hi everyone, welcome to Tom Wright Art. Uh, I'm a guest presenter today. My name is Tibor Febland and this is Ayton Nightingale. Hi. Hi, Hi you. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. So today we're going to promote Ayton's exhibition at the Palatine Library in Blackpool, which is on at the moment. Uh, you feel free to uh, come down and have a look at her wonderful art. This is one of her pieces here. Um, can you just tell me a little bit about this piece, please? Well, this particular painting is I use oils, which is one of my favourite mediums, and I'm influenced by colour and culture, and that's kind of my background coming from the Turkey Cypria. And it's basically a self still life of a vase and some jewellery, and the colours are heavily influenced by like Persian and Turkish, you know, ceramics, and I actually do love that in my work. I'm really passionate about colour. If you look at a lot of my work, I do use colour, even though it might not necessarily be. You see it there, but I do like using colour, so that's really the influence behind that. You yeah. know, looking at something that's got colour around it. Yeah, and was, um, did, were you influenced by any particular artists at all? Um, at the time, I was a post impressionist artist. I do like Monet, you know, I would love, if I, I love to paint like Monet, but I do like a lot of modern artists as well. One of my favourite artists of all time is called. Mark Wilkinson, and he used to design um, Marillion, Rock Band Marillion's album covers, who I love. So, you know, that's another of my influences is doing something like fantasy art. I'm not particularly a fantasy art sort of artist, but I do love that, you know, I love the colours, so anything with colour you know, is just my passion. So. And um, you were. You come from a Turkish Cypriot background. That's correct. So yeah. were you, um, would you say you have been influenced by your culture as well? I think, strangely enough, I probably was, but without realising it, because I grew up, you know, to be kind of anti-Turk in a way, because I didn't want to be around Turkish people so much, but I studied in London and born and bred. But my mum used to knit chunky rugs, you know, quite naturally, because she didn't have an education. And strangely enough, I ended up studying textiles, you know. I wanted to be a painter, but I ended up studying textiles, and I still did painting. So I did weaving, I did rock making. Right. So I suppose the answer to your question is yes, so yeah. I am kind of influenced, even more so now, with the culture and the people. Because I'm noticing your exhibition here at the Palatine Library in Blackpool, mm -hmm. uh, you do have you you are you have used quite a lot of different medias. Yes. You've got some drawings, you've got yes. the textiles, yeah. you've got oil painting. Yes, yeah. and prints as well, yeah. Prints as well. Yeah. And um, did you have a good Christmas at all? I did actually. I was quite busy. I was working but I was at home with my family, which is good. That's a normal thing for us to do. And I actually started painting as well, you know, and which is good for me because I've had a gap for about 25 years because I went into teaching, you know, and I thought, well, because I've come up here now, I thought, I'm going to get back into my art. Really? Yeah. Right. And I did, so, so you didn't yeah. do any art for like 25 years? I did bits of it, yeah. but I also taught art as well. So, and strangely enough, I actually taught in this building, so I kind of promoted them, you know, as a favour, you know, bringing art back into libraries, so, which is, is a positive thing, you know, very important. Um, I've just noticed from your bio as well that mm -hmm. you um, actually you worked alongside Tracy Emin. I did, a long, long time ago. Yes, um, at the time I was about 22, straight out of art school, strangely enough, not knowing what I was going to do. I got dragged into a youth Turkish organisation and I was asked to set up a Turkish youth club and I thought, yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. And we were looking for other Turkish Cypriot people and her name was on the list. She was totally unknown. And at the time, because I was setting it up with two other people, I couldn't even do it myself, so I was going to, you know, it's just a policy. So, yeah, we recruited her. And to be honest, at the time, I looked at her work, oh, you know, yeah. you know, but look at her now, you know, so she's, you know, obviously an influencing person with what she's done, so, yeah. 
And um, can I also ask you about your, do you have any future exhibitions lined up at all, or do you do any commissions at all? Um, I haven't started any commissions yet, um, because I'm, all, I'm allocating myself about, you know, about two days a week doing my art. I've got a painting in the Grande, and the private view is on next Saturday, so everyone's invited to that, to look okay. at myself and every other artist there. So I've got others potentially planned as well. And I'm going to be at Winter Gardens next Saturday as well to be interviewed on Radio Lancashire. Okay, so, right. yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Well, thank you for, for joining thank today. Thank you. And um, I wish you every success in the future. Thank and, you very uh, much. Yeah, I'll uh, see you again soon. That's brilliant. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. Bye.